Hello Virgo and welcome to your future love reading. This is for Virgo. Alright Virgo, let's see what's going on. What is going on with your future love? This is for Virgo. Let's see. Ooh, we got some new love. Thank God. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I feel like clearly you are new to this person and they are catching feelings for you. Um, and so, uh, and it's like the more time that you spend with this person, hopefully you're, you're going to be catching some feelings too. So let's see what the tarot has to say about all this. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? This resonates with you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So, however it resonates with you, this is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Ooh, that's a nice one. Okay. So, everybody's moving on from a very toxic past. Very good. So there's new all over this. We got the Sun card and we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This person is taking the situation with you very, very seriously. And I feel like you're going to, <clears throat> I'm seeing, <laughs> this kind of came up in Cancer's reading, but I'm seeing that black cat, right? So you're going to be the black cat and they're going to be, the golden retriever right you know that trend that's going around black cat golden retriever um i feel like this person how can i put this delicately here on this they they got I, well i don't know they got some uh, kinks so just keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your head, okay? So, all right, before we get too deep into the um, the reading here, little side note, I have opened up some a couple more dates on my calendar for private readings. If you are interested in a private reading with me, you can visit secretarot.com. I'll leave that link down below in the description box and pinned in the comments. So they see you and whatever they see, they are very much into it. This is a new situation. Um, I feel like both of you um, are moving on from some sort of toxic past situation um them and you i feel and it's just kind of you meet they see you they watch you right so not sure what's going on in the courtyard but um i feel like this could be a very happy experience for you the sun card is one of the happiest cards in the tarot but there's something about you that they very much like and so they're going to do many many things to try to um, offer you impress you that kind of thing and to chase you and I don't know I just feel like your energy is very intoxicating to this person 
and I just feel like you're going to be into it, but it's like you, there's so much attraction here. Um, and we got this little sunflower, you see the sunflower? You got the sunflowers here. And you got the little sunflower over there. So that's like new. It's new. It's fun. It's exciting. The energy is really, really good between the two of you. You could be dealing with a Leo if I did not mention that before. This is someone future forward. Some of you may have already met this person, but I feel like a lot of you have yet to meet them depending on what timeline you're on, what your situation is. You can be dealing with a cancer or somebody with cancer in their charts. Um, so you're moving in a new direction. They're clearly moving in a new direction and they want to, they, they like to kind of take charge and steer the ship, so to speak. And I feel like you are all about it. I feel like you're all about it here. Moving on from past situations, which is very, very good, right? Now, there could be a very strong deja vu with this person, like a past life connection. Like, they feel like they've known you before, right? So, Six of Cups here, but definitely, you know, both moving on from, from the past, so... I feel like you are going to be a little bit more reserved and allow them to do what they need to do. So, um, you, you, I feel like you're the more in the challenge position and you're, you're going to have, well, not going to have to, but you've got a very protective energy around that heart right there. And you, I feel like you're going to be a little bit more strategic in regards to this new person coming in and not just, you know, a little more greedy with your energy. They got to fight for it a little bit. Um, and they will. So four of pentacles here. So we've got this ace of pentacles. This is going to be a new reality. You see that little doorway? You step through it. It's a whole new situation. It's a new reality for you and it's a new reality for them, but they'll take it as slow and easy as you want them to take, right? It's Earth's energy here with that Ace of Pentacles, but they've got offerings for you. They want to show you things. They want to impress you and there is huge potential here for this to go somewhere, right? We've got the Four of Wands here. There's there is a possible commitment here if things go the way you want it to go. But it's definitely, you're the one that's in control here with that Queen of Wands energy. Because whatever this is, Four of Wands here, whatever this is that you're moving away from, um, you kind of had to um, kind of get back in the groove, right? Um, let's just go here. That's Queen of Wands. You kind of had to get back in the groove. You had to get your fire back. You had to kind of get your mojo back and rise from the ashes a little bit. But you are going to be so attracted to this person, but very reserved about it. I don't think you, you are ever going to step out of the power that you have found for yourself, which is a very, very good thing. You'll be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart, male or female, but this is you all day. And so you, you've you got that black cat energy that came out in Cancer's as well. Cancer's reading. I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancer. So moving forward, um, distance could be an obstacle between you and this new person, but there will be um, traveling to see each other if that's the case. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, Six of Swords, though, we're moving on. I feel like both of you are moving on from, you know, a toxic past. And usually that is everybody, really. <laughs> so, so we got the Devil here, Capricorn Energy. Um, I feel like there's this 
I want to say, un unbinding and then binding. Um, definitely a little bit, like I said at the beginning, a little bit of a kinky side to this person. They're going to have a very healthy obsession with you. Okay, a very healthy obsession with you. And like I said, they'll take it as nice and slow as you want them to take. All right, whatever you need to do. Please clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. This is for Virgo. So this is why you are going to be consistently standing in your power. And that's because you don't want to go through this again, right? You don't want to be played and abandoned. That's what I want to say. Played and abandoned. So this is why they have to come to you. They have to impress you. They have to show you that they want this. They have to be, they almost have to have a healthy obsession with you uh, for you to even pay attention. Because this is what, and I feel like this person is dealing with the kind of the same thing. Like they don't want to get played and abandoned either, but there's something about you that they absolutely have to explore. So your past and their past is being shut out. Five of Pentacles here. So your past right here. And their past gonna be shut out and both both your past and their past is probably gonna be pretty sad about it okay and then you know if if they even give the energy of you know I'm playing games with you or whatever I just don't think you will deal with them at all but this person isn't playing games this person's very real um, and very genuine and um, this is a huge opportunity should you choose to walk through that doorway into this new reality. Okay. All right, Virgo, that is what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I will leave all of those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.